Buddy Cats, Buddy Cats, Buddy Cats, Buddy Cats. So, corporate's making me do some budget cuts. A lot of businesses are struggling around here. Budget cuts. Don't know how to break it to the troops. Time for lunch. Hey guys, I know there's supposed to be a presentation on budget cuts, but uh, I just got my test results back from the doctor and it looks like I fractured my Achilles, so Dwight's going to be taking over this presentation. Yes, Michael! Michael, I won't let you down! Michael, I'm going to make so many budget cuts around here, we're going to be I know you will. making money. I swear, I won't let you down, Michael, I promise. I will do such a good presentation. Michael! Michael! Alright, listen up, losers. You don't realize how much money you guys waste each day. Time is money, you know. Budget cuts, all right? What is going on? That's not me. I swear, that's not me. Jim! Jim, this isn't funny! This is a serious matter! It's kind of funny. <laughs> Give me that! Come on, why isn't this working? Come on! Dwight! <laughs> If we need to make budget cuts, we should get rid of the poison darts. Dwight almost killed Kevin. Not even an elephant tranquilizer could kill Kevin. Dwight's gonna destroy the office. Um, with his poison darts and his trip wires, he's the main reason of budget cuts. Dwight, is this a trip wire? Jim, do you know how many yearly break-ins we have here in Canada? All right, and we can't afford a real security system. How are we supposed to keep the ninjas out, Jim? How are we supposed to keep the ninjas out? Most small businesses lack the funding for a proper security system or proper financial protection. Did you know that last year in Canada there were 160,000 reported break-ins? Also, did you know that 100% of those break-ins would have been stopped if the intruder was unconscious? Just saying. Another way to save money, no more Timmy's runs, everybody. No more. We waste so much time every day. Time is money, all right? No more Timmy's runs on office hours. No, I quit! Go 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 Your attempt anyway, Ryan. <laughs> all right, this is one of the best ways to save on our budget. According to Business Stats Canada, 30% of small businesses struggle to find skilled employees. Alright, corporate needs us to think of some ideas on how we're going to save money in the office. That means no more spending the office budget on personal expenses. Wait! How am I supposed to pay for Ryan's gas? Yeah, how is she supposed to pay for my gas? The paper industry has been getting hit by a bus repeatedly until it's dead on the road for the past five years. That's why I invented Woof. It's texting. It's taking notes. There's no need for paper anymore. Isn't he so smart? All right, it looks like corporate needs us to come up with some ideas on how we can save money in the office. First off, Pam, why don't you stop overspending on office supplies? We don't need them. Okay, well it's not my fault that Michael made me buy two types of pens because ballpoint pens hurt his hands and now we have gel pens too. We have this website that we don't even use. Why don't we put something on it to reach a wider audience? And we can use refillable ink cartridges and lower the heat at night to save money. And what is the government doing to help us? Nothing! The government isn't doing anything to help small businesses like us. Hold up, Dwight. Let's actually take a look at some facts here no. instead of all this... No! 
No, as assistant regional manager, assistant I to, to the, the regional, regional manager. manager. Michael left me in charge. This is my presentation. Jim, no. So taking a look at this article right here by our prime minister, they plan to lower our small business tax rate from 10% to 9%. So the government's trying to do their part, and it's up to us in the end to save money. You know that one third of business owners say that they'd rather not have gone into business because they're affected each year by government laws and regulations? This would never happen on a farm. I've said too much. Mike, you're back. Hey guys, so I know I missed the entire presentation on budget cuts, but to make up for it, I bought you guys some artisanal coffee beans from Indigo. But Michael, we're trying to save money and you just spent it on coffee beans. Well, your Christmas bonuses are being cut anyway, so... Figured this would soften the blow. What?! Let, let, wait, 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 let's be real here. Which would you rather have? A Christmas bonus or artisanal coffee beans? Christmas, Christmas bonus. bonus! Yeah, definitely the bonus. 